Good day everyone. Welcome to Galaxy's channel. Today we are going to set up AWS Elastic Load Balancer and this will be front-ending an auto-scaling group for a group of web servers running in Mumbai region. For that we need a VPC which is spreading across multiple AZs and that is going to look something like this. So here is my VPC. It is going to have three subnets in each availability zone and we will have three security groups, ELB security group, public security group and private security group. And public will receive traffic only from my ELB and my private will receive traffic only from my public. So I have already set it up in my VPC uh, dashboard. If you want to run a script, you can do it as a script. If you want to do it manually, you can do it whichever way. But set it up so that we can go ahead and start our auto scaling and our ELB. So the VPC looks like this. This is my uh, VPC that I have set up. So you can see here the VPC is here. The tags are there. If I go to my subnets, there are here are my six subnets. That is uh, for this two availability zones, the public spare and then the public for AC one and two. And if I go ahead and check my security groups, you have the ELB security group that is having an inbound rule for port 80 from all over the world. And then we have the public security group, which has a incoming security group as an ELB, and it can also directly receive traffic from the internet as well. In case needed, we can remove that as well to increase our security. And then our private security group is also ready and configured. Now that our multi AC VPC is ready, the next step is to go ahead and configure our load balancer. So for that, we are going to use a classic load balancer. I'm in my EC2 dashboard. Click on create load balancer, choose the classic option and then click on continue. And I'm just going to type in the Galaxy ELB demo load balancer and I'm going to leave it as the defaults and I'm going to assign a security group, which is going to be my. All right, let us just check the VPC again. Yep, we need to choose our VPC here so that we can choose the subnets as well. I'm going to choose the public subnets that is the AC1 public and then the AC2 public. Just confirm the settings here at the bottom AC1 public and then the AC2 public. Click on assign security groups and we are going to put it into our ELB security group that is here. And then click on next. We are not using HTTPS or SSL, so click next. And we will make sure that our ELB comes online as fast as possible. So let us check for seven seconds at a period of five so that within about 30 to 35 seconds we should be getting the ELB services online. Uh, click on EC2 instances. As of now, nothing is there. So uh, ignore it. Auto scaling group will add it. Enable the cross zone load balancing and then the connection training. Click on add tags and then let us have a name tag and then our usual demo name and then click on review and click on create. So while this is getting created, let us go to our EC2 dashboard and set up our auto scaling group now for auto scaling group uh, go to our ec2 dashboard on the left hand side you will find auto scaling click on launch configuration and you will see the big blue button for creating auto scaling group here so the first step is to create a launch configuration let us go ahead and do that and then i'm going to use uh, amazon linux for most of my configuration and uh, because the amazon linux comes with the default uh, packages for aws cli and it helps me to copy some packages from S3 buckets using an IAM role. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to create uh, use the S S3 role that I have that is full access and go to advanced details and type in my configuration there. So I have finished typing the configuration and the configuration looks like this. I'm just doing an M clean and install HTTP server and then starting the server, starting it on boot, copying some files from my bucket and then I'm adding a host name also to the file so that we can see where the pages are served from, which server the files are coming from. So that is the steps that we are going to do here. There's nothing much here. Click on next to, to add storage. We are not going to add any storage here. Click on configuring security groups. We need to put our web servers in the web security group that is public security group. So this is our public security group. Select that and click on review. And once this is done, the next step is to create the launch configuration. So let us go ahead and do that. So select our keys in case we want to troubleshoot it. Okay, now that launch configuration is completed, we'll go ahead and create our auto scaling. So we need to create a 
name for our auto scaling group. So we're just going to say quickly Galaxy ELP AC ASG. And I'm going to start with two instances of minimum. And I'm going to choose the network as my VPC. And then I'm going to choose uh, public subnets here. And again, I'm going to choose AC2 public subnets. I'm just looking where it is. There we go. So this is AC1 public subnet and this is AC2 public subnet. So that is what we want to do here. In the advanced details, uh, we can receive uh, traffic from our one or more load balancer. So I'm just going to click on this one and it is asking me what is the load balancer name. So if I click on this, automatically the load balancer name comes in. I'm going to click that. And then we don't have any target group specified, so it's not necessary to pick it up. So automatically uh, the load balancer will take care of the uh, instances created by auto scaling group and send traffic there. So we don't have to set up anything else here. Click on auto configuration policies. Let us have a scaling policy of between two to four and then let us increase it by one instance. So for that we need an alarm. Click on the alarm and when my average CPU utilization is greater than 80 percentage, create an alarm and increase instance. That is what it is going to do. So you can say add one instance when my average utilization is going to be 80 percentage and for uh, Decrease size that is scale in event. I'm going to choose a, I'm just going to check that monitor again Okay, this is going to be 20 percentage and then for a period of one great and then remove one instance So click on configure notifications And click on configure tags and Click on review and click on auto scaling group. So it is going to take a while for the servers to come online and then get registered with our EC2 instances and also our auto scaling group. So meanwhile, let us head over to my ELP dashboard. So as you can see here in my ELP dashboard, as of now, there are no instances. And once the auto scaling group completes uh, booting up the two instances, we will see it getting registered here. As you can see here, there are the two instances that has been automatically registered to my elastic load balancer, but still the registration process is going on and you can see the status is out of service. It takes a while for the health checks to come uh, online. That is, we remember that we set it up for uh, uh, every seven seconds to check the server and then it needs to continuously check for five uh, polling, second, polling options. And then once the health check is completed, when all the five consecutive uh, checks have been successful, then the service will be marked as online. So I'm just going to head over and click on the refresh button and see if there are status changes. Uh, still it is uh, registering, so just give it a while, it should work. You can see here, now both of my servers have come in service. So long it was an out of service, now the health checks has been successful. Uh, if we even go to the monitoring, we can see here slowly from uh, uh, being unsuccessful that is unhealthy host being at uh, level 2 it is slowly coming down and it will reach uh, level 0 Whereas the healthy host count will go from 0 all the way to 2 slowly. So that is how uh, the Load balancer keeps track of what are the servers and what is the healthy status and what is not healthy status So let us go ahead and check whether our website is working now by using the URL This is the URL. Let me just copy it and then let us put it in the browser now so there you see now that my load balancer is working and it is able to fetch the information from my web server and it is showing the IP address of the server also from where the pages are being served. Uh, if I refresh the button, it might change the IP address of the server because we have enabled cross zone load balancing depending upon the load on each server, the traffic might go in round robin or to a particular state. So let me just go ahead and refresh and see what happens. So you can see here the IP address of the page has changed now to 240.1.145. If I go ahead and hit refresh again, it might change again. So there you go, you see that it has changed to 0137. And if I hit refresh again, uh, it might change or uh, the uh, cached pages might be served in Chrome. So that is how you set up an uh, elastic load balancer, the classic load balancer in front of an auto scaling group. So we can test one more thing also. We can go to our auto scaling group and stop one server and see whether that new server has been picked up. For that, I'm just going to go to my AC2 dashboard and you can see here currently there are two servers and decide is two, minimum is two, maximum is four. 
So I'm going to go to my instances and then I'm going to go and shut down one of the instances now. So select the one instance that is in availability zone 1A and then I'm going to say terminate. So click on terminate. This is going to take a while for the current server to terminate and then auto scaling to pick it up and then a new server to come online. So let us ho uh, hold the refresh button here and see what happens here. Meanwhile, if you go to the auto scaling group, you can see the terminating EC2 instance the notification has been received. As you can see, an instance was taken out of service in response to an EC2 health check and it has been terminated. And likely it says that it is starting another instance and increasing the capacity from one to two. So it says that it is not yet in service. So if I just go ahead and hit the refresh button, we will see that it has also got completed. If I go to my instances uh, dashboard, we should be able to see a new instance along with our terminated instance. There we go. You can see here uh, one that we terminated is here in one EA availability zone and it is terminated uh, whereas the, the new server that is here it is getting initialized slowly so if we note down this IP address that is 10.240.158 uh, we should be able to see that in our web page so let me just copy this uh, this one because this is what will be displayed in the web page meanwhile in my load balancer you can see here there is only one server in service if I go ahead and hit refresh, uh, we might see the new server that is coming online in availability zone 1A and it is still in out of service and it is still failing. So it will take a while for the new server to come online and then for the load balancer to pick it up and start serving traffic from that one. So just give it a minute. Here you can see that the new server has also come online. It's in service now. I'm going to hit over the refresh button to see it has taken into effect and go to the description and copy my url and then put it into the browser window to see if the new server is picked up here so it is picked up i'm just going to get the ip address of the new server there we go here is the ip address let me copy that go to our new browser window hit on refresh and do a paste here there you can see that the ip address or the web page is for being served from the new instance that we just got created by auto scaling group so that is how you set a load balancer in front of an auto scaling group and start serving your traffic and whenever some event has happened auto scaling will probably remove it or add it and load balancer gets the notification and adds the server or removes the server from where it is distributing the traffic thanks for watching if you have any questions go ahead and put it in the comment section if you like it hit the thumbs up button uh, if you want to come back for more videos, click on the subscribe button to get the notifications. Thanks once again.